Welcome back. We have Welcome a big. Back. Oh. We have Welcome a big. Back. You have a big shoal face in the in the video. There. Ready? Go pee. <laughs> Don't look at me, look at him. Yes, he's he's staring intently at Krenn's back and going. That would be very pleasant. We're here playing Soma again. Oh, oh we don't want to exit. We want to continue. We have just gotten bamboozled. We fell down the elevator shaft. We got into the machine. We thought we were going to be on our way to the other location. Bam! Tall man comes out. We think we're dead. We find ourselves in the apartment with our girlfriend who died. It was a lie. We were actually stuck to the wall. But we got ourselves free. And now we have to figure out what we need to do while avoiding the big tall man. Not fun. Simon is lost somewhere inside Theta, hunted by strange creatures. Yes, we are. We are. We were hiding in here last time. Right, we went this way and there's no, there's no exiting out this way. And it sounds like the creature is right outside. And I'm hurt. And these noisy objects away from us a little bit. It sounds like he's so close. Oh, no, it sounds like he's around the door. Sounds like he's on the other side of the store if I open it up. I must feel like maybe I should open it and like run into that dark room over there. Jesus. on my headset but now I can't hear him.
don't even know the lay of the land because we just woke up like this. Okay, really quickly. Fuzzy, which means that he's near. Oh, this way. This way. Oh, this way. No, I do. I'm pretty sure he's just going around in a circle right there. Going this way. This is where we started, wasn't it? This is where we woke up. Pretty sure this is where we woke up and we don't have Catherine anymore. Yep, this is where we woke up. That's where we woke up, okay. Now. now we know where to go. God, can they make these sounds in this game any creepier? walking around that circle. That was the game. <sighs> We're just looking at the dark floor. If you can't see anything, it's because I can't see anything either. Like we just slowly have to make our way out. And avoiding the Creepy dude. There he is. Stairs. Oh, the stairs that go nowhere. Damn it. in here when he's in here we have to wait until he bypasses us okay. Okay. wait until he bypasses us okay. 
We'll be okay. We'll be okay. I wonder if we've lost Catherine forever. I feel like this is the worst place to wait. We should have waited on the other side. It's going around the same circle. can't find us here. Hopefully he doesn't hear his breathing. school before he comes school before he comes I need to close this behind me or else he's gonna get me totally totally I think he's running There's only one of them. I don't know if he's in front or behind. Oh, he's behind. Oh, circle. I don't know if that was a good idea. Oh, this is where I was before. Oh, okay. So we went into a room just to come out the other side. like he's coming from this direction. I'm not safe here. But I have no idea where to go. Where to go? Oh, I wish 
wish there was a map. Oh, I wish there was a map. Can't get through there. Now we can go in a circle. I don't know why we want to go in a circle, but we can go in a circle. Maybe it's just to avoid the dude. That was loud. that noise it comes back again okay so we open this so that we're on the other side of that door that door is still only open halfway so it's not like we can just hop skip and a jump in here oh he's around the corner Still in that room. He's still in that room. See? He was still totally in that room. We're okay. We're okay. We're okay. Come over here, we open the other door. <sighs> what we have to do with it, I have no idea. dark here. I think it'll work. I think we should open the door. I think we should have closed it. I'm pretty sure it can open doors anyway, though. Click the buttons. Oh man, that's what I was waiting for. Waiting for him to leave so we can click the buttons. No, no buttons here either. Gosh darn it. Let's 
let's hope I'm a robot that doesn't breathe. corner again. As long as the light doesn't flash on, I think we'll be okay. Not a vision monster, he's a sound monster. We're just... We're just hanging out. We're just going through random bins and trying to find out if we know how to get out of here. is like right outside the door. It's got to be right outside the door. Feels like a big bait. I feel like this is bait. Stop talking, you're gonna like call it to us. door to come to us. Of course it did. <laughs> the scream. I always, whenever they scream like that, I always imagine like one of those dinosaurs. Once they get your scent, they stand there, they scream, and then they go like I'm chasing after you. It's only this door. We've already opened it. Boxes. 
come out already? So fast in that room. Recharge service battery. Shit. Does not walk very far. I've only been online for about half an hour. <laughs> I was trying to um uh, to talk to you in between a little bit as well. just being hunted by a creepy robotic monster that can't see very well but can hear very well and every time I look at it my my I glitch out have you ever played Soma oh no 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 it's streamer mode so I don't get any notifications or anything so it's fine I was thinking about um, I was adding up how many people are married and like how many partners and stuff you guys have and all that fun jazz and I'm like I bet I bet she has to make a pair of socks every week be able to fulfill all the orders. I don't know if I can make it. I don't know if I can make it. I don't know if I can make it. I have no idea where I'm going. At least a pair a week? At least a pair a week, yeah. Right there. We're not allowed to look at the monsters because the monsters can sense us looking at them. Our screen gets all glitchy and stuff. So we're a robot and it knows. Can I offer you a drink, Supa? My goodness, now I have friends to watch me get terrified in this stupid <laughs> game. Yeet. Hi, Gabe. I think it knows I'm here. It knows I'm here! <laughs> oh my god. Yes, I was a snacker, and not the good kind. There was a power failure. I need to like restart the power, and I don't know how. There's nowhere. Oh, it's here. Oh my god. Uh. Pump. Oh my god. Please open, please open, please open, please open, please open. Please. Please. Do I have to push a button? No? No? I just don't get inside this room? I literally just finished Alien Isolation. It was great. It was, uh, it was very good. Oh, jeez. The game also listens to your microphone, so when you scream, the monster hears you. Yeah, that was, a uh, that was a lot of fun. I don't think I can avoid it. It runs so much faster than I do. Has anyone else played Soma? It's totally 
totally gonna get me again. And I'm hurt. Oh, we're going. Oh, we're going. We're so going. Come on, come on. Don't make any noise. Don't make any noise. We're okay, we're okay. Security door unlocked. Security door unlocked. And then we're gonna close it. Oh, jeez. And we're jumping. So we have a scuba suit. And I don't give two shnikes. I don't know if that thing can follow me underwater or not, but you know what? Bring on the fresh new terror. Does Soma stand for something? I have no idea. If it does, I haven't figured it out yet. Oh, I think there's a door up there. And yes, if you can't see anything, that's because I can't see anything. Because, uh, yeah, I'm hurt. Um, and we're underwater, and I think my vision's impaired. Get up. Up, maybe? No. I don't know what fresh new monster we're gonna have here. That was a monster that could hear us. Couldn't see very well, but it could hear us. I don't see stairs or a ladder or anything. I just jumped into the water. I was just like, screw it, we're going. As long as that thing isn't following me, then I'm okay. Oh. Oh, this is a long way up. Okay. Oh. That's always nice. Yep. So essentially, uh, if, if an enemy is near and we start looking at it, our screen gets all glitchy. And it does not look great. Goodness, where am I? Whoa. Do we do we jump down to that platform? Ooh. My character isn't doing so great. I didn't heal when I could. Have I mentioned how much I like jumping puzzles? Yeah, Alien Isolation was, was fantastic. It was really good. I liked the... Oh, no. We're not going up anymore? We're jumping? Or we're going down? Okay. Alien Isolation was great. It, I wouldn't say... It was a little bit more than I expected it to be as well, too. I expected less humans. I literally thought it was just going to be me on a spaceship with an alien. But uh, it wasn't, surprisingly. I don't know where to go from here. I take a wrong turn? Oh. Um, but the addition of the, like, the humans and the androids and just, like, the whole storyline behind it and stuff, um, I, I did enjoy Alien Isolation as well. Do I die? No, okay. I think that was a person who died. I need to get to that door. Flashlight doesn't really work. Clever. 
it went the wrong direction. In my maze of ladders. How's it going to the birds again? Let's see where we are again today. I'm trying to be a responsible adult with a proper sleep schedule. Or is he playing board games tomorrow night as well? He can't stay up late. Either can't go up this one and just go across. And then maybe we've got to find a way to keep going up. Up we keep going. Can't go on this ladder. Nope. That's graded off, so we can't go in there. Take it up to that one. I feel like we should be able to get on that ladder. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Okay. Just gotta stand at the right angle, you know? Just the right angle. You had a board game you can with your friends a while ago. You managed to play three games of Terraforming Mars. Ooh. I have not heard of it. What's the gist of the game? <laughs> that heartbeat, dude. Oh my gosh, that heartbeat every single time I think it's in the game. You actually made me scared that there was going to be something down there. Can confirm Terraforming Mars is a good game. Excellent. Shoot! Oh, excuse you. Excuse you. Desperately need a health button. Board game weekend. Was it just? Did it? Was it just such a good game that you're like, we need to play this again? We finally all got a handle on it, and and you're like, we need to do this, and we need to do this better. Oh yes, HP, because we're a robot, and this is how we heal up. You ready for it? Oh yeah, baby. It is new. Better good. Ooh. God, that monster's down here. Just gonna call it. And I hear it. I hear it already. <laughs> I did not expect that. Are we getting flushed out of this place? That'd be great. Good thing we're in a scuba zoo. Flashed out. Yes! Hello! Oh yeah, we're out of the nightmare. Achievement unlocked. I killed killed the dream I dreamed. Excellent. First game was practice, you took like seven hours, and the next day everyone knew to do so, and it took like six. Yeah. It's always like that with, uh, with games as well, too, right? You play a game and it takes so long the first time you play it. She sealed the tunnel. She really didn't want anchors following us to Omicron. No, anchors is crazy. Oh, she's fucking hurt. Her suit is leaking. We had to get her to Omicron. Shit, it's bad. Real bad. Oh, fuck no. I like learning how to play new games, but I also like, like, after the first gameplay and you, you get a handle on, like, what you're supposed to do after that. That's where the real fun begins. Start thinking about all the little nuances, and it's like if you do this, the effects of that. Am I helping people or hindering it, each other? Best part. Best part. 
They're on the bottom of the ocean, by the way. And I don't think those robots are good. All right. Let's find Omicron. Those look like terrifying robots or weird habitational spheres. Weird mind buoys. Is that what you are? And yes, there's robots in the bottom of the ocean as well, too, that are bad. Power failure. Okay. I wonder what all these were then. Maybe they protected me from monsters of the deep. Saying it's a good thing that when I woke up, I was a robot with a scoop. You get the rare footage of my dog doing the little dog bed circle thing. We started, tried starting different games after that menu was like a hundred pages. So he decided to play a third game of Terraforming Mars. In this game, everyone was super serious and thinking that they should do this it. This is all the crowd. It took close to seven hours, too. Yeah. Hope they saved me a diving suit. Power failure. Oh, dear. Okay. We gotta figure out where power failed and where we can plug it back in. Safe so follow the wires. Oh. There's a big machine right there. Are you anything? No, you were holding little robots. We've come across you before. Oh my god, please don't have a big giant machine enemy in there. This just looks like a recipe for disaster. That was a, that was a really good camera angle of my dog doing his uh, nesting. Our failure offline. Pressure pump. No? No? Okay. Oh. We can... No? Christmas in the house. Manual override. We can't... We can't pull you off. There we go. No, don't cover my exit just in case there's an enemy. Ah, flush. Make sure the open valves end to turn on the pump. Ah, there we go. This door isn't closed, but... Oh, oh, there we go. Let's go. Terraforming isn't the game that you've been playing a lot of lately, is that right? Save button. Catherine. Catherine? Help us. What? The others. There you are. Where are we? We're right next to Omicron, a smaller building connected to the main site. Can't you tell? No, my view is pretty limited. There's some heavy restrictions on my system access. Did you find a power suit? Not yet. I'm trying to figure it. out how to get into Omicron, the big building. Oh, okay. Keep up the good work. That's did it? Did I ever see the movie Sphere? You got nothing? I did not. Good luck. Does it remind you Thanks. of this? It does. I do not want to watch it. Why not? Kath, how are you so okay with all this? With what? Being a talking box, for one thing. Not being human. That's not so bad. So, 
You're not bothered at all by not having a body? I'm getting there. A little bit You're underwater aliens. You're really self-conscious. Come on, be serious. I never felt that comfortable being human in the first place. This isn't much worse. Broken. Not being Broken. able to move would freak me out. Glad you got the box and not me. I'd make it a little easier to help out if I had a body. But you're doing a good job. Would you like me to ruin um, kind of the, the gist of the, the would game? Give you some ease. My physical constraints don't translate to my experience very I'm well. I'm sure you could pick up on I it. I feel about as human as before, but as if suspended in air. Which is kind of interesting now that I think about it. Oh, okay. Kath, why do you think I was made? Why would this AI, the WoW, bring me here? I don't think we could ever know. I have my own beliefs, but nothing that can be verified. Tell me, why do you think the WoW brought me here? The WoW had a range of assignments, but they all sprung from one single idea. Preserve humanity. When the comet hit the Earth, killing everything, leaving a fraction of humanity left alive, the WoW started to compensate. It's restoring humanity. I think so, but I don't think we share its definition of human. Or life, for that matter. Catherine, are we alive? That's an impossible question to answer. We lack meaningful definitions. Just figured there must be a way to know. To know if this life is worth living. You assume you've changed so much, but have you really? I don't know. I don't feel so different, but the world sure does. I never realized how much the idea of myself depended on where I am. How do you mean? I miss Toronto. And not because my friends and family are there, but because I know where I fit in. In Toronto, I know who I am. That's an interesting observation. It was, Catherine was. I think you're a crazy scientist. I do the thing? Do I have to do more? Ooh, black box status. That's where you are? Nice. Nice. Alright, so everyone, all the crew's offline. System updates. I have to work the crane again. Dead people don't bite. That's true. Dead people do not bite. We did that, we did that. Are we done? Radio bar. Booper, do we have any painkillers left? This tinnitus is becoming crippling. Sorry, we only I have like how we have live stuff on the opposite left. Side so level drugs. I'll take it. I'm not there right now. But My head is about to explode. Can do, that's stuff for emergencies. Besides, Cameron thinks the ringing will settle when JR reaches 100%. Then tell him to hurry the fuck up. Should be a matter of hours. Just hang in there. Keep me posted. Yeah, well, um, I have this thing I need to take care of, so I'll talk to you later, okay? Sure thing, Herb. It must have overloaded his black box. Humans have black boxes? Mm -hmm. Here we do. Well, Company policy. We're not humans. The reports but... are vitals to help medical personnel treat you in case of accidents. That's how I can hear the dead. Right. Yeah, you should be able to data mine black boxes, just like the <laughs> I don't hear data. the dead, Simon. Come on. Okay, status is quarantined. Oh god. There has to be a way to cancel the lockdown. Have a look around the room. Oh, okay. You oh there's a piece of paper on the floor. A couple pieces of papers on the floor. He doesn't get the yeah, penny information. This is. Not really. Not that familiar with people at all. I think I solved it. Solved what? Why do I get the feeling that we just got lured into the back of a van? Because we did. What are you talking about? I think that WoW woke me up because I wouldn't have any knowledge of the stuff that's going on. I'm sent here to Omicron destroy. Omicron retracted quarantine shutters. Lockdown canceled. I'm opening Something it up wants for us to, to come inside. It. And we want to go inside. What's the problem? Uh, come bad on, idea. 
if if your job all of a sudden got a whole lot easier, something bad's about to happen. That's why. Oh, thanks. I don't have to manually do it this time. Filling me up, Scotty. I don't trust robots. I don't trust androids. I don't trust AI. Nope. Nobody. Nope. 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 Thank you. I'm fucking open, and nobody's answering to anything. What kind of cold-hearted motherfuckers would just leave us out here to die? A machine. Don't That's you get why. it? They're dead. They're all dead. Yeah. You're right. How can you be so calm about this shit? We are dying. How much air have you guys got? 20 minutes. Oh, and that's the thing that freaks hey, me about about space. You know, everyone's like, oh, let's go to space, let's go to a space station, let's go to Mars, you know, wait, live in right? terraformed little bubbles. I'm the master no, of my own fate. No, that's like living wait, underwater stress. for me. What are you doing? Terrifying. The last thing I want to worry about is the amount of air that I have. Like, that just seems like an unnecessary thing that you're going to have to worry about afterwards. I don't want to have to cry, thank you. Hello, little robot. Please don't fight me. They didn't answer our call. Hello! Christ, Strasky. Screaming into a microphone radio. makes them hear you. They're not gonna more, hear you right? better if you scream. That's how microphones Jonesy, work. Are you okay? Look, I know you're the strong silent type, but I need you to say something every now and then so I know you're all right. Jonesy? Jones. Open up! For fuck's sakes. Let's try the annex again. Maybe we can break it. We're losing Jonesy. We need to get her inside. Well, get in line! Alvaro, there's nothing we can do for her right now. Hit the stasis switch and let's check the annex. Let's go inside. Blushing. Really big door. Use alternate entrance. What alternate entrance? Best clear entrance. Middle tunnel. Okay, so we. How do we get to the alternate entrance if it's the blue dots? Um, annex is where we were. The bottom blue dot is where we came in. I need to go to the blue dot, but the gan gantry? What is the gantry? Boom! Easy! Boom, easy, exactly. Like this just looks. This looks insane! This had better be the right way. <laughs> You're telling me, Simon. Ooh. Ooh. Just, you know, slowly falling apart into the bottom of the ocean where it's so pressurized I would die immediately, which is why I'm trying to get into this place so I can get a space, uh, a water suit to be able to actually, uh, oh, look, okay. So I can actually go down there without being crushed. with a water suit on for that. Not for deep sea diving. Flush me.
Oh. Let's find that shit. Get out. Get saved. I saved? Oh, God, the save. Live to see it. It's not good, though. So not good. doesn't want me listening in. So essentially because uh, the, the WoW's intention is to preserve humanity, it's been turning all the humans into um, androids, robots kind of thing. It's been, it's been, a, a, you know, this. And because they're robots, I can then talk to them in their last, or like you hear what's been said in their last moments when they're back, black bots. I don't think, is it getting too scary, gonna go to bed? <laughs> You played Alien Isolation, but this is too scary? Also, we're not short, I'm just crouched. I'm... <sighs> That's terrifying. And Sweet Dreams, Heike. Had to come up with some reason. <laughs> Sweet Dreams, Heike. I mean, you are an hour ahead, so it's late for you. Hey, right, we'll go with that. Trophonics and containment. Nice. See it? Did you guys see it? Because I didn't. Sound get turned off. Oh. oh, look, blood splatter on the floor. Always good. This, this the ark? Essentially, we're looking for a giant piece of technology. Well, it's not giant. It's it's more like the size of a smaller briefcase. All of the files from humans have been uploaded into it, and it was supposed to be sent off into space so that it could be preserved, like a piece of humanity. And the lady I was talking to on the thing, it's her baby, it's her project. And it never got sent into space, so I told her I'd help her send it into space. Apparently it's supposed to be here. I don't know how close I am. Yeet! Yeet. Ikara, how's it going? or a bad thing. Ooh, okay. What we got? Power suits tested and ready. Omicron scars are in the arc. Loaded equipment and extra rations. Calibrated equipment for weight. 
crane operator ready and Omicron stands by for pickup in two days. I'm guessing that pickup never actually happened. Okay, so the power suit proper usage. Do I actually have to remember all of this? Send that baby to space. Exactly. Put the neoprene undersuit and body harness. Check GPS for any visual damages. Starting with the legs, fix the part onto your harness and work yourself upwards. Lock all the pieces together as you go. Let a partner help you with the back piece and the torso. Too bad I don't have a partner. Tap the secure button on your arm piece. The suit will then start to equalize. Okay. Suit is a seal. <gasps> Flex the shock absorbers and try again. Do not try to fix it yourself. Okay. You will effectively be stronger than you think you are. Don't hold your breaths, don't stay too long, and don't dive too deep. Okay. 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 You see the dog, but no butt. Like a butt. He's like, I'm not sitting right next to I can't really show you the butt. You you missed him turning around in a perfect, like, a doggy little circle when he's making his nest. Activate terminal. Here's something. Here's something very faint. Oh, hello, Catherine. Uh, is this yeah. Omicron? Everything is so basic, so limited. I hope it's not the Amatul falling apart. Okay, we need to find you a power suit, you know, so we can go into the abyss without ending up like a recycled can of soda. Mm -hmm. You think we'll find one that fits me? I mean, I'm kind of in a suit already. That's been bothering me too. You know how you were transferred from Vancouver? Toronto. From then to now. How could I forget? Okay, so we do it again. You want to send me to the future? No, you idiot. I want to transfer your mind into a new body. What? Look, we already know it can be done. We don't need to make it a big deal. It is a big deal, Kath. It's a huge fucking deal. You're already There's got to be something else that can take us down there. But Dunbat at Theta was the only vessel that could take that pressure, and you saw what happened. Then think of something else. Simon, please. You don't have to switch this instant. Just play along for now. If we find something else, then great. If not... I'm not promising anything. <laughs> Thank you, Simon. Just, you know, get How used to maybe being this in a is different where body. They would keep the power suits if there are any left. Oh, the future. When screens come alive. F. Oh, look at that! God, that's a creepy. Oh! oh God. Nice. I found one of the power suits. There's a dead woman inside. At least I think it's a woman. Just like the body we found in the annex. She's missing her head. Gross. This could mm -hmm. work in our favor, though. Look for a terminal nearby. See if you can boot it up. Nice. Okay. Yeah. Did not expect that. Hi. Hi, Mr. Robot. <laughs> this game says that was nice, too. <laughs> oh, my God. <sighs> so it will automatically shield the water wear from pressure and maintain the normal 1 ATM up to a depth of 5,000 meters. All right. It is easily assembled through the rotating neck and wrist rings that locks the gloves and helmets into place. And, you know, makes it so that your body stays in there. Robot type thing is so far. Game. Oh, gross. Was it D? I can't remember. Not Air. exactly great A material. Don't write it off just yet. Remember what we found out at Theta. The suit you are wearing is basically just a cortex chip working a few pints of structure gel powered by the on suit battery pack. Of and a dead column, Imogen Reed. Exactly. If you think about it, we're actually incredibly lucky. 
We found a suit with an already dead body inside. I guess you're right. <laughs> what about the wow? What makes you think it'll play along? It's not magic, it's algorithms. A set pattern. The wow won't be able to deny us, even if it was capable of wanting to. I'm still not crazy about this plan. It feels wrong. Please, Simon. I can't give up on the Ark. I need this to work. So we need a Cortex chip, structure gel, and a battery pack. That's one hell of a shopping list. Thanks. I'll just hang around here if that's okay. I'll be back. Oh, God. <sighs> Cortex chip, battery pack, structure gel. I like how she opens the door to me too. She's like, get out. I'm still crawling because I feel like there's a giant monster that's going to be in here and we need to be careful. So I'd Don't rather... forget, we need a cortex chip, structure gel, and a power pack to get the suit ready. The battery, not power pack. Why is my vision vision blurred like this? It's like too bright for my robot eyes or something. Simon, it's kind of funny. He's like gotten this interesting idea that, you know, he, he knows that he's a robot. He knows that his past self is dead. This is like super in the future and stuff. This is just a memory scan of himself. But at the same time, he doesn't want to be transferred into a new body. This isn't your body. This is still a robot. Really? Not in here? Not in any of them? It's just like a safety hole then? North Hall, F2. Oh, this is where we were. Okay. Oh, this, this is making my eyes blurry. That's always a good idea, right? If this is where we were, there was nothing in here. Mess hall, power room, airlock. The room has the dress room, the comms, the workshop. No idea. No idea where they are. We have to override, don't we? Air room has been locked down. Stand by. Where is the fault? Get the virus. Oh gosh, this is the dumb puzzle thing where I have to do all the things. Destroy the wow. We're moving last. Doesn't sound good. Honestly, does not sound good.
There's a human in there. In the emergency shower without a head. That's fantastic. Oh, this is what all that goop is. Ah, cool. Okay. Structure gel has been charged and actually keeps going for a while, even when removed from a power source. If applied to circuits, it seems to help out with connectivity. That makes sense. It's not only connectivity, but even functionality. The gel can make simple machinery work and act more efficiently. However, the modifications that the WoW has made to the gel are full of information that doesn't necessarily make sense. When applied with something more complicated, it causes the gel to act as a cancer upon the host, eventually ruining it. Oh dear, that's no good. Alright. Let's find some gel. Control just chip malfunction. Seriously? I need to find a new control chip now. Dispensing gel. Nanotechnology. Do do do. Okay. Thank you for that lively demonstration. I get to do. Oh. Does it do anything with it? Okay. Go back in. Go. I don't want to leave you out. It's like something bad will happen if I leave you out. Okay. Hello? Thank you. How about this one? Oh, that's a rat. Oh, do I get the chip? Is this where I get the chip from? No? No? Just, just a rat? Okay. And there's nothing in that one. Okay. wonderful informative and yet not aggressive Ooh. rat that's right okay so the chip malfunctioned and I picked up the chip and now I need a new chip Does that dude? Usually sedated orange Rafi found hovering outside Omicron State Station. It had a remarkable bone growth that seemed to interfere with its perception. Interesting. It instantly started banging into glass and bludgeoning itself to death before it could relocate it. How lovely. The freakiest form of mutation so far, with some kind of fish or shark. Awesome. <sighs> so the robots. Are really combining with the humans. Hydroponics. Can we go into hydroponics yet? If we want to. Okay, we need the power gel, but we need the chip for the power gel. We need battery packs. And what was the third thing we need? Something for the for the Omni tool.
That is disgusting. Another dude. Hold on. There's something fuzzy on my glasses. Which means that not only is it fuzzy on the screen, but the screen is already fuzzy, so that's kind of making it double fuzzy. Containment. Can't get through that door. Main entrance. How? Oh, looks good. Looks good, guys. Wow, just really doesn't want me talking to these people. This makes me feel like I should be able to open it, but I can't. Okay, no power packs. No structure gel. You can't upgrade my tool. Containment. We're on the upper section. This hall power room. We were just in the airlock. override. This feels good when you have to override a lockdown, right? That's saving. Can't go through the vents. Not here. Oh, that looks great, doesn't it? Why can't I open? Open. Thank you. Emergency panels, seriously? Like a puzzle on top of puzzles. Yeah. <laughs> 
Okay, dude. Get out of here. Where one of the panels are that I went to. There's no panels in it. I don't know where to get the panels. Just gonna. Unless they're in here. Are they in here in the storage room right outside? No. Okay. That would be too easy. The West Hall. More decapitated people. Oh, hey, look, a meal. Anyone hungry? the keyboard. Undelivered report. Johan Ross was found dead on the climber this morning. The WoW has been getting more aggressive, pushing all systems to their limits. Things are out of hand. The staff looks like they're about to explode. Every other person. The WoW has been getting more aggressive. Johan Ross was found dead on Of course not. Documents. Forced to evacuate. Everything is bad. Everything is bad. Images. Everything looks awesome. Everything is cool and you're part of a team. Okay, I don't remember getting hurt, but I swear my vision sucks. I'm gonna heal myself and I hope it doesn't screw me up later because this is the only HP I've found, but my vision hurts. I think, I think I need, I think I need HP. Ugh. Hopefully it clears up the vision. Yes, cleared up my vision. Okay. So much better. Okay, in the power room, we found that thing. Airlock. These are the stairs. Okay. I'm gonna go down to the first floor. We're just gonna leave that machine up there for a little bit. See if there's anything we can do in the meantime. So we haven't gotten a single thing. We've gotten a chip that we still need to redo. fish that, 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 uh, what's the word? Mutated? That's fun. No, no, no. Okay, there's another HP here. Good to know. Another HP in the laboratory. Hey, that's what I look like. I can finally see what I look like. Don't punch the mirror. 
He knew what you were this entire time. You're just a suit. You're just a robot in a suit. More rats. Very cool. Okay, I didn't see anything I could use. This is not a very nice game. Come on. Correlation between the overload of systems and the corpse of Dr. Ross. I was able to shield up the corpse inside the glass jar for a couple of seconds and witnessed a massive drop in the readings. If we really have to keep Ross inside Omicron, I suggest finding a way to erect a permanent barrier to avoid severe system malfunctions. All right. Wow, is definitely repairing Ross's corpse. Okay, so that's the person up there. That's the most insane thing I've ever encountered. Somehow the WoW, primarily regulated into the structure gel inside the walls, is bombarding the corpse with every system it can access. The glass door is surrounded by an unhealthy amount of electromagnetism and radiation which seems to be instructing gel already stuck inside Ross's body. Not sure what the WoW expects to happen when it's restored, but at least all the crazy should stop when a body hits 100%. I don't think so. I think the WoW has become a person now. Which is not great. Dive room, medical bay. And this is where we were to begin with. Did we go in the dive room? Pretty sure we went to the dive room. Went into the storage. There's nothing in the storage because we can't even open up any of the things. We have a broken chip. Stairs. Oh, outside hydroponics. Okay. Oh, but I'm pretty sure we can't go into the lower. I mean, we might be, but I'm pretty sure the stairs are overgrown. Okay. This is terrible. Oh, we can go down. Yes, we can. Yep, that's what I thought. Do I even bother? No. Can't go in there. This is how this is where we got in. section. Best room, workshop, comms. Alright, let's remove the lockdown and see what we got down here. Anything? No? Nothing. Okay. Robot repair bay. This better be good. This has to be good, right? We have to find something we need down here. Vortex diagnostic chips. Okay. 
Oh my gosh, this ridiculous puzzle. Okay. Da da da. We get it? We got it. Okay. What we got? I'm not quite sure. Cortex? We got the chip. We got the Cortex chip. Now we just need the gel still and the battery back. And we need to fix the thing I have to be able to get at the gel. Oh, yep. Into the abyss, take it to Alpha in the abyss. Alpha needs medicine. Take the... Oh god, this is bad. I am doing the dirty work for WoW, I bet you anything. Gonna be the reason the world is gonna Strassky, die. are you there? I hear you, Herbie. What's up? Uh, just wanted to check in. I have to go do something. I might not be around for a few days, okay? Rally her relieving the listening post? Must be important. It is, Strask. It is. Oh god, I don't, I don't know. Okay then. Stay safe. Okay. Okay. Need to fix the chip. Fuck, oh, dude. You don't look so hot. Fix the chip to get the gel in a battery pack. Payment lab, robot repair bay. Okay. What's important, sir? Okay, we were just in comms. Let's, let's go into the dress room then. Is that what we need to? Is that what we need to do? The trap comms. Oh, the dress room's behind us. Entrance. South hall. Oh, the south hall had both doors. Robot repair bay and comms, right? That's what we did. Robot repair bay and comms. Oh, dispatch. Am I looking at the wrong floor? Am I being dumb again? Oh, we're on the lower section. Alright. So, the only thing I can think of that we need to do again go back up to the room that I really don't want to go in. Containment and dye room. Let's go talk to Catherine, see if she can give us any more ideas. Catherine, there's a creepy robot talking to me. You know what you do when the robot starts talking to you, right? Your mind. Okay, so there is HP in the laboratory and there's mm. HP in the... in the, um... communications on the bottom floor. That I've needed a whole lot of HP lately, but where's Catherine again? Where did I put her?
That cabinet, the one with the broken opening mechanism, maybe you can get it open somehow. Cabinet with the broken opening mechanism. I did. We're still talking about this one. Get the locked cabinet open. she talking about locked cabinet she's talking about the thing that i already had the chip for and i need to figure out how to do the chip get the locked cabinet open that's get so unhelpful catherine open. that's been broken and we need to fix it somehow. I have no idea how to fix it. We've been in every room. Terrified myself in the power room with the, you know, the wow walking around. Pretty sure it's gonna wake up and come and get me. Maybe the answer is in here. Maybe I just missed it. Gel. Never seen something of that speed. Yeah, yeah, I know. It's incredible. How do I fix the chip? Oh, 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 I'm dumb. I am dumb. We put the chip in here. We fix it with the gel. Come on. Can I just push the button? No. Go. You can do it. There we go. Come on. There we go. Oh man. So my days. Move it over once. Oh, keep going. That was gonna be automatic. And let's fix this gel. Essentially, we're putting the bad technology onto it. That, you know, makes me feel so good. All right. Exciting. And the wow gonna come for me. It just came alive. We just woke it up. Holy shit. That was the glass case that I was talking about. We need to find a power pack to keep your new body going. Where could I find one, Catherine? Go look for a power pack. Unhelpful, 
aspirin? Oh, for a power pack. <laughs> hi, Bobby. Just come to say hi and give me uh, some, some encouragement. <sighs> that was terrifying. Do we have to go talk to the wow dude in there? The old doctor, which is now a robot. A big boss man robot. Not even just like a little robot, he's a big boss man robot and he's stuck in a glass tube. Hi, Hodra. Hi. Thank you. Hi. Oh yeah, that's a big bone. Yeah. Ow. Why are you stabbing me? Honey. Hi. Why I muted there? Okay. See, you still there? No, no. Okay. I need to find a power pack, and I'm guessing it's gonna be upstairs <sighs> in that place that I really don't want to go. It's the power room. No. <gasps> okay. Okay. Let's just. We're, we're just going. God, that's terrifying. Okay, I've gotta find a power pack. I don't know how. It's gotta be in the power room, right? That's the only thing that makes sense. There's actually an enemy in here. Hi, Gabe. Are you still watching me? Still watching me be an idiot about not putting that stupid circuit thing on the, the thing that I even did and it like made it better and I didn't even think to do that. Okay, we need the power pack. Is unhelpful. Do you think it's still up here? It's saving again. Why is it saving again? I mean, great, it's saving again because then I don't have to actually do all of that again. <laughs> I swear every time that is uh, not part- uh, I feel like that's part of the game. Do we just have to like walk in front of her? Him, her, it, robot. Oh shit. Oh my god, do you see its hand? I feel like we need to make it start Stop, moving. I wish we could piss off Ghost It. I feel like we need to make it move though. It needs to get out of there so that we can actually get to that stage, that, that power thing. I think it's a run. I think it's a run situation. Throw a box at it. I want to pick you up. There we go. Didn't work. Get for a wrench at it. Did 
Don't anger me. She just said don't anger me. We just don't piss her off too much, right? She has a claw hand. Like a crab. There's only one, okay. We're gonna go now, it's okay. We're gonna go now. You can, you can just hang out here by yourself. Do what you need to do. this way. I went the wrong way. Ooh. This vent is baiting me. I'm gonna go in this vent. We're okay. We're okay. We don't put it here, right? We don't put it here? No, we don't put it here. We just take it with us. You're just you're coming with me, Mr. Power Pack. I hope this is the power pack I needed. Gonna, gonna. You can stay there, lady. Although I have a bad feeling that he's gonna appear now in the circle, like fully. Oh, you ready? You ready? I bet this isn't gonna be good. He's gonna try and talk to us. He's gonna blink into existence and freak me out again. Okay. I forget which way it was. Woo! No, it's the woman! Holy jeez. Good. Lock the door. It's locked. What's going on? We're we're doing the thing. We're we're doing the thing, Notice. Captain. Piss off another one of WoW's monsters. We have everything we need, right? I think so. Yeah. Let's get to work. This is crazy. Don't worry, it'll work. <laughs> Terrifying. That's what it is. Just make sure it's all bunched yeah, together with the structure gel connecting all the parts. Sure. All right, try activating the seat from the terminal again. Oh, we knew it was gonna happen. We knew it was gonna, I didn't expect him to blow out. I thought he was gonna try and talk to me. It will be fine. Then why don't we put you in the suit? I was gonna suggest that if you refused. You go without me. I need to do this, Simon. This is important. I need to launch the Ark. You'd really do it. Change body. Yes. If you want to stay here, I mean, she already changed bodies once. We put her in the I little arm tool. Tell you what to do. What would it be like before? Close my eyes and then. And then open them again. All right. Let's do it. Are you winning? Uh, I think so. Go sit in the pilot seat in the next room. You might need to boot it up. the activity manifested by your current cortex chip, run it through the amplifier, feed it into the new chip, and then make sure it's synced. 
You lost me halfway there. You don't really need to understand it. Just make them line up. Not post. There we go. That's everything. You can climb into the pilot seat now. Already? Sorry about any discomfort. This should be a Any discomfort? You never say anything about discomfort before. There was the most expensive camera in the world. You know, Indian stock photos would steal their souls. He said in this that. Case, they'd be right. Huh. <laughs> he said that to the doctor when he first got scanned. Let me guess, we blink and bloop bloop, we're in a new body. Ooh, that was a little bit more than a blink. Uh-oh. What was that? No, I can it's just... Why was it still talking? It's the same like before. Catherine, why was he still talking? That's how it works, you know that. What do you mean? You know it's not magic. You were copied. The sleeping oh, so Simon in the sea copied. copied. And now you are here, just like Simon lived on in Toronto. God damn you, Kath. Two Simons? There can't be two Simons. What did you think would happen? That you were going to take my mind and put it into another body, like a brain transplant. That's I'm not sorry, how it works. I'm sorry, it wouldn't work that way. You realize how messed up this is? Please, I didn't mean to upset you. How did you expect me to react to this shit? Please stop. You're fucking disgusting. Oh boy. What's going to happen to him? He'll sleep for a while, a few days. And then what? Wake up in his fucking nightmare again? All alone? Oh, so cruel. Well, what do you want me to do with him? Make friends? Let him know that we have to leave him behind when we go into the abyss? What if... I kill my older self? didn't need to wake up? You do that? I don't know. Why does that seem like an abomination to you? Maybe. There. I set it up for you. Get the switch if you want to drain his battery. He'll die within a minute. Do we want to kill I'd our former self? Oh. Don't be mad at me. Do we want to kill our old self? Our other copy? I have a feeling Kara wants to say yes. But I mean, leaving him here to die in this shitty place? Like, there's no one left. Why wouldn't we kill him? Why would we leave copies of ourselves over and over again? He's not going to know what happens after this. He'll wake up in a couple days going, Where the hell is Catherine? Where am I? It didn't work. And be terribly confused. So... I'm not sticking around, but... It had to be done. It had to be done. Not our worst kill. No. We didn't torture him. Not like the other dude. New achievement unlocked. A new you. I don't even get an achievement to do it. Also, does that count as a suicide? That is a very good question. Would it count as murder? I think it would count more as murder. All right. I think it would count more as murder. Because technically I made a new me. Like if you clone yourself and you kill your, your one of the two, it doesn't really matter which one. It would be considered murder, would it not? Because it's not you anymore. Are we done here? Yeah. Activate the clamor, please. She's so sure mad thing. at me. Why are you mad at me? Okay, I don't sit down just yet. X. 
activate the climber. Oh, oh. One passenger. Descend. Go. Oh Seriously, no. Seriously, you guys need fucking babysitters? Get in the goddamn flame tower. Exactly. I've said it before. She said that she was the first scan, so she doesn't know anything that has happened since then. Have we figured out what happens when we die yet? Is that even possible? So I think There's she's evil. Kind of I think, I think, think so much happened and she didn't realize it and now she's dead sent on this one mission. Like but this one mission should just not go through. Is there still room for me? And what about the Simon? I killed at Omicron. What do you think, Kathy? Is there a heaven full of redundant copies of the same people? Is there someone up there who called me an imposter? You'd be a completely different person. It's dumb luck, right? And I woke up in the right body. I basically flipped a coin, and if I had called the wrong side, I'd be rotting away at Omicron. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's nowhere to know, right? You didn't hit the make sure Simon wakes up in the right body switch, did you? Not that you would know. I mean... He would still claim to be the right sign. Christ. This is awful. We did an awful fucking thing. <laughs> and you wouldn't lie. Why would you? How could you know that it's not me, the me that I am, the same that I've always been? Let me say something. I don't want to think. Please. I don't know what to say. I don't want to upset you. Say anything. When I was little... I used to climb the stairs all the way to the top of the building. And I could still feel how I had to, you know, tuck my arm so I could push the heavy steel door open. Well, the first time that I dared go up there, I stepped out onto the roof and watched the smog rise and fall over Taipei. I got all the way up to the corner ledge and, you know, I felt the warm wind in my hair and the sun was setting and the streets below were shadowed by the tall buildings. The people pushing through the crowd flowed like paint from an artist brush. Street food vendors filled the air with aromas of all my favorite foods. For a brief moment, I felt connected to the world in a way that I never had before. It was the most profound feeling of comfort and sense of belonging I could ever hope for. I really never felt the same way again, but I went up to the roof many times after. I'm not religious, but I can see why people would be. The privilege of being makes a strong case, at least every once in a while. Do you still feel that sense of awe? Even like this? Things are different, but we're still here. What's the point of going on? Everyone's gone. All the people still left are digital copies trapped in computers at the bottom of the sea. We'll never be able to rebuild or reclaim what we were. Are you really so unhappy being what you are, or is this about the man who went for a scan a hundred years ago? Both, I guess. When I was back in Toronto, even the worst case, the darkest futures I could predict, they at least included my previous life somehow. I feel so uprooted. There's nothing here that I recognize, nothing that makes me feel like I belong. Even if we make it to the yard, would it be any different? I'd still be alone. No friends. Yeah, but you'd have like a whole bunch of no other friendly. people to talk to and make stuff. You'd friends. make new friends. I'm sure everyone would like to know the time traveler. If not, you still have... <gasps> she was gonna say me. You still have me. That's what she was gonna say. Catherine? Catherine? Hello, Catherine. My Omnitool broke. What happened? Is it the pressure? Oh, we're still going down. Oh, no, the fish are just coming up. Okay. This is probably not good. I know 
know it's not much, but why don't we stop moving? The power blacked out for a moment. I think it could be the atmospheric pressure. It's pushing pretty hard, really testing the limits of my suit. Don't worry. It should hold. It Comfort. should hold. It will hold. She does not sound like it should hold. Does... Does time freeze when you're not powered? Time feels omitted. What's the difference? I don't feel like I'm being held back or hindered. And I don't have the opportunity to reflect on the time I'm missing. It's simply missing. Like Sounds blinking. like sleeping without the dreaming. Yes, but generally you anticipate when you're about to sleep, and there's a natural continuation since we tend to wake up where we went to sleep. My experience is more like an ever-changing moment that never really seems to find closure. Sounds kind of like a movie being edited live. I suppose so. I guess it sounds exciting, but it really keeps me activated to the point of exhaustion. <sighs> it's rough. Could be worse. Could be a time traveler stuck in a body made from black goo. That'd be the worst. <laughs> I think we're getting close. The atmospheric pressure is messing with our sensors. Even though the suit is made to be able to withstand it. Not good. Oh shit. She is a scuba suit too. Why did you keep trying to kill me if you wanted me to come? This is not good. He's gonna try and like sabotage the Ark, isn't he? Now we're gonna have to stop him from sabotaging the Ark after bringing him here. Oh, good, you're back. What happened? Something dropped onto the cage. Knocks you right out. It spoke to me. Looked like a man. One of WoW's creatures. It just stared at you for a moment, then threw itself down the abyss. It said it would make preparations. I don't like the sound of that. It was very strange. I thought it was going to kill you for sure. I'm glad it didn't. Yeah. Me too. Hold it up. You can't eat your bone on top of Shoal's back. Looks like we're closing in on the ocean floor. Good, not sure the climber can take it much longer. Okay, exactly, Felsey. Exactly. Good morning, Grim Hooper. You haven't been here before? Not in a way that'll help us. Right, the other you has been here. We're following in your old footsteps, Kat. When I had footsteps. You could still be down here somewhere. Technically. Don't well, remind me, freaks me out. Yeah, we're gonna find oh, her old body that died so out. long oh, ago. Alright. <laughs> Lumar and Link needed to call the climber. Danger area and safe, stay close to the lights. All right. You see our log. Set a collection, evaluation, failed. Okay. You're just gonna spam piss off ghosts whenever you see something? Absolutely. That's what it's there for. Yeah, it keeps- the whole game has been warning us about like big mutated fish and stuff so I would not be surprised if now is the time they finally show up. Oh, come on. Come on. You can do it. Tau. 
Strong currents expected. Doesn't exactly say where we are. We're at the bottom of the ocean, by the way. Oh, we have like a. We have another friend. Jesus, did you see that? Stick to the lamp lights. They won't go near them. I can't, Valglasser. It's important I reach Omicron. Our future depends on it. Calm down. Let's just follow the path. If I die, I need you to tell Julia Dahl that the WoW is out of control. Ooh. She needs to get to Sarang. He'll know what to do. Raz, you can tell them yourself. We just need to pick up the pace, okay? Glass! We lost the path! We need to go back! I know where to go. Come on! It's over there! Mm -hmm. The light is over there! Final push, Ross. Almost there, we just... Look out, sir! Ah! Look out, sir! Blue light leads to Tau. Red light leads to the climber. Well, we need a blue light. Come on. That's not creepy at all, is it? I wonder how close we have to stay to the lights. Like, is the pathway okay, or like, do we need to like get to the lights? Okay. Big spooky robot fish. Got it. Oof. Is there a current now that's gonna like try and prevent me from getting to the lights easily and quickly? Please don't turn the lights off. Blue light leads to town, red light to the climber. Okay. Target frilled shark. Yeah. And a Atlantic blue marlin. And uh Oh, it's the thing! It's the thing with the light on the- on the- with the big teeth! Yep. Statistics! Humpback whale. Wait. And anglerfish. That's the one. Okay. So, did it just want to tell us what we were up against? Is, is that what it was doing? Oh, we got HP over here. Just in case we got hit on the way in. Anglerfish, yeah. Okay. You keep following the lights though, and the lights are gone. Who leads to Tau? I don't see any more lights though. Where are we supposed to go? supposed to follow the lights in here. I don't see lights. 
I see a light over there. I see a light near me though. Hopefully we can make it. Nice. Fish just come by. Yep. See another one way over there. Fish want to come out and try and eat me? They look like a swarm of piranha. Okay. As far as the lights are ankled, anchored as well as they are. Woo! Ow! Oh, oh, they don't care. Okay, they don't care. Got it. They don't care. We're, we're just going. They don't just have a pulley system in between the sites. I mean, this is crazy. Insufficient power. Ooh, sucking all the power again. Let's heal up. Fish who didn't Tom, really seem to give a the shit. Keep doors unlocked. We're coming in. Yeah, it's more of those lights. and keep up with it. Oh shit. Big mama's there. Falling into this cave. Do we? Do we want to fall into this cave? I'm not quite sure where we're supposed to be going. Bye bye, robot guy. Girl guy. Whatever the heck it is. Oh. Did I go in the wrong direction? I think so. I 
I was also going in the wrong direction. Um, this way, I guess. has green lights. I don't know if this is good or not. I'm just booking it. I don't think these are the lights I'm looking for. I like how the guy at the station was just like, just follow the lights, it's no big deal. Oh, that was an anglerfish! That's the bad robot guy! That's another anglerfish. Baited, literally baited. Ow. I think we're going this way. I think. I don't know, honestly. Maybe yes, because that's where he is. The random explosions. The sound is super weird. Is he trying to show me where to go? He's trying to help me. I know the explosions underwater as well too. Like it sounds like thunder and lightning, and it's like how can it be thunder and lightning? I, like how can you have thunder and lightning noises underwater? This light, I'm gonna go straight to the door, I'm gonna go to the light. I'm gonna go to the door. So not good. Oh my gosh, so much bad stuff has happened in here. It's gonna happen in here and I'm just bringing the apocalypse in. Release me from this water prison. I'm always gonna come here to kill everyone in here. Well, it's gonna be like, no, you are not allowed to.
happier to be inside. <laughs> Let's find the Ark. This is so not over. Loop status. Lost, lost, lost. Active Tau. This log. Tracking. So there's three suits right there. Person died. Oh, now let's open these guys up. Okay. Welcome to Tau. What's left of it? Are you guys all right? What happened here? We ran out of real food long ago. People have been getting sick. I thought they were going to say they've been sick for many months. months. And no shit. The we all think you're dead down here. Some failed evac story circulating at Omicron. Oh God. Listen, son. We're on an important mission, and we need your help to operate the Omega Space Gun. When it's done, we can all head back up the plateau. But now we need to get moving. Of course. Head on through to the habitat. We shut off the front section to preserve power. All right. See you soon. <sighs> Does not bode well. I need some HP. My poor limpy body. Oh, hello. Did I just say? Oh, Fantastic. Can we talk to Catherine now, please? We are right here. And those are dead people. These are locked doors. One, two, we have to get through two locked doors. Excuse me? I'm just taking a wild guess here. Okay, maybe not locked, but closed. I don't know where I'm going. Just trying to get away from that thing. Oh. Battling through to how very quickly. Oh, that was terrifying. My heart nearly left out of my chest. Oh, Spike, C plus U to regress. Wow, more than the gel. He's an entity extended by the gel. Poison the imprint. Sterilize both. Heed the heart. Oh, sterilize bath. Heed the heart. Force wow to kill itself. Okay.
I go? I don't know where to do. I bet you had a closet right now. Yes. Hell yes, I do. Oh my god. And a map. A map would be nice. That thing is terrifying. Memories online. Anyone there? Not the moon to talk to robot. No offense. I'm not a robot. Okay, the infirmary is good. Local map. Okay. We're right here. We need to get out of the laboratories. Out this door over straight through. To the right, to the left, and all the way down. Right, to the left, all the way down. I think we could go through that door, though. We must have. We need to get in here somehow. Right, to the left, all the way through. because it's taking forever to open up this door, isn't it? I half expected it to be on the other side of that door. Broken. I'm not going down. Oh, I guess it's the only way to go. Okay, okay. Only way to go. That monster is scary. That scuba monster was terrifying. that you can close that door. <laughs> I can't go up it, so I guess this was the right way. Oh, can I save? You hear walking around in there? No. Quarters and there's an HP. Five room from infirmary. Am I have I been infected with the wow? <sighs> Maybe I've been infected with the wow and I shouldn't have killed myself because then at least there would have been at least a sign of wow. Not putting you or your stupid pets inside. Maybe I'm the bait. You know, something tells me that my old dude is the good guy. You think I've so? Been a good man. We messed up, Sarah. 
there, there. Like I said, I feel like Catherine's like an evil scientist. Taking the chance. There's time. If Ashkin says we could try again, when things calm down. You gotta do it, you know? You got to. <laughs> that you'd talk to as the villain. I, that's what I, I've been that saying. Like this. Catherine said she she's the, the first person brain scan, so she doesn't know what's happened between the first Forget brain scan and everything over no, here. You don't get to say that. It's the only thing left of value. You know that. <sighs> yeah, yeah. Promise you won't leave it behind. We'll all be dead one day. Then what? Well, better keep it safe until then. Don't want the wow to take it, swallow it whole. I'm sorry, Catherine. It's okay, Ian. Just let it out. Let it all out. Where do we have to go? Where can we go? Dispatch. Oh, I thought I heard it running. Okay. Minor structural damage, radio knockout. Visited by Wolshack, Dollar, and Holland. Swarmed by monsters and no radio. We're fucked. That's, that's always great. If I hadn't killed myself, I would have picked up. Ooh, the door locks for the infirmary. The cabin. Bye status. No feedback. We've We've overridden the door lock. The only person we could find hiding out in the infirmary. You. You're. Are you human? Sarah Lindwall. Payload technician at your service. Life support. A rare sight, am I right? I'd say so. 
You're the first normal living human normal. I've seen. There's not many left down here. Most of them are up on the plateau. You mean at Omicron? Yeah. There's no one alive at Omicron. Yep. You've been there? That's where we woke been up. all over. The power plant at Upsilon. The ruins of Lambda. The abandoned Delta. Theta. You've been to Theta? There's not a lot left of Pathos too. And, uh, I'm the only living person you've met. <coughs> you mean I'm the last living human on the planet? Probably. I'm sorry. Who are you again? Simon Jarrett. Stationed out? Nowhere. I, I used to work in a bookshop in Toronto. Long story. Then what the hell are you doing here? I'm trying to find the Ark. Why would you? How do you know about that? I've heard it's the last hope for mankind. Damn right it is. Now what do you want with it? Take it to the gun at Phi. Launch it into space. That was the plan, all right. I've been guarding it ever since we brought it back to Tau. I just couldn't bring myself to let go. I'll tell you the truth. I don't have the strength to argue. <laughs> And I certainly don't have the time to wait for the next sentient thing shuffling through here. Go ahead. Take it. Thank you. Thank you. Can I get you anything? Do anything for you? You could kill me. Good one. Achievement unlocked. Endangered species. Well. She's the last human alive. I She's, still can't believe I'm the last one. She's stuck crazy. here with a crazy monster, slowly going insane by herself. How boring must that be? I mean, you we're gonna kill her, right? Killing you? No, I'd love to hang around here until I dry up to the size of a raisin. Right, exactly. Simon, this fucking sucks. <coughs> <coughs> I don't want to live like this. I like how she coughs, but her character just kind of opens her mouth. I'm glad you came by. Good to get this over with. Would you stay with me, please? Yeah, sure. It won't be long now. Just... Please, just stay. Take good care of it. They're counting on you. My crazy thing this was. Life. Cabin A. I don't want to go with I want to have to turn 30. Right. You have to turn 30. I wish I could have died at home with my friends. You ever been to Green Mile? It's very beautiful. Well, at least when you get out of the city. She doesn't want to shut up. We need to kill her harder. Busy. And yes, there's like 12 million people trying to get around, but it's a great place. Or rather, it was a great place before the comet ended it all. Have you seen the movie Don't Look Up? You know what? I prefer it this way. Do you know? Really? I liked Pathos. Liked my colleagues. Ian, Nick, Jasper, even Kath. People thought she was weird because she was quiet, but she was cool. I have Catherine in my um, in my in my tool. So we I still know. have Catherine. She's still there? Yeah, we're I'm just here, sitting. Sir. Don't let him die. Okay. Send what? them out what? there. I know, right? Hey, they put something here for me to sit on and listen to her talk. Is she dead now? Still moving. This might take a while. I know, right? Oh, she stopped moving. I think she's dead now. Black box is inactive. Probably found a way to switch it off. So I can't talk to her. Can't. I can't revisit her last thoughts. All right. All right, well, we gotta carry this thing around now. No way I can climb a ladder while carrying the Ark like this. 
That looks like a microwave. Oh, no. We already did that. In here? No. Call lift? Oh. There's a lift. Compact freight lift. Ooh. Turn her back on just to mess with her. She's not a robot. She's actually a human. <laughs> You're funny. Um... I want to say the dive room, because the common room seems silly. Right? Dive room seems silly. Turn her back on the messenger. <laughs> oh, that's so good. I feel like it's the dye room. I think that's like a bunch of things in there. Okay. I wonder what happens if you actually go down there and you don't actually send it anywhere. Do you have to come back up and send it somewhere? Okay. Creepy monster. Monster, Very well, but Holdra is resting her face on, on like the bed with Not. She's been pushing her nose into Not's belly a lot lately. Monster. Oh, seem to be okay. There's the arc. Button, push button, push button. Waiting for cargo. No cargo te detected. But there access denied. Oh, drug up. Super yes. Yeah, green cane. Green cane. Green cane. Hi. Take a picture and uh, sat down to put another log on the fire because it's cold in here. Mechanism malfunction super halted, unable to equalize pressure. Heaven's sake. like stuck in this room. Oh. Yeet. We're just gonna manually fill this up. Come on. Come on. Break them off. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, of course. Of course it's Crane. He's his favorite. Yeah, there we 
There we go. We'll at least you outside. We're gonna ship it off to space. Wait, how am I supposed to get through there? Maybe. Ooh, maybe. Almost. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's right. We're following it. We're doing it. It's a very long way into the launch pad. Someone should really fire Johan Ross. Tell him there's no reason to walk these tunnels anymore. No. Oh. This section is gonna collapse. No. You should try spending some time in the abyss, sweetheart. You know when shit's for real. You know when shit's Catherine, for real. Move up. Come with me. Oh, okay. Hey, wait for me. Catherine was down here. Careful with the arc. Take it easy. It's not going to explode, crash, bang, fall down. Oh. For a moment, I thought it was going to collapse. Yep. Wait. Wait. If the arc broke, if the arc broke, what did I just send? Oh my god, I thought someone was behind me, private keyboard. I did, I sent a virus, you're right. Do I not keep, do I just go back? <gasps> Where am I going? I won't lie, you look behind you as well. <laughs> You're right. I messed up. I'm the bad guy. The warden. The warden fucked with the ark. jumped through it last time. Uh, I did kind of break the door, so... Okay, maybe I... I'm not just really bad at jumping. I suppose, am I supposed to be going, like, following the arc more? Let's 
see a ladder or like any way out of here. Oh. Oh. That was terrifying again. There's lights. I should be okay from, you know, swarms of angler fishes. Mutated swarms of angler fishes. Okay. Is this where we just sent the ark? Underwater, these doors I can just open. Very nice. That seemed to have all gone wrong. I like how he's bringing me here to monologue. Five bucks is he's gonna bring me here to monologue. Tell me what you want. Yeah. I, need you to stop the wow. I thought you were the wow. What? How? The enslaved protein sloshing around your suit is the use for which the wow will live in itself. What are you talking about? As soon as I came to an Omicron, I tried to tell them to make the toxin that would make the wow with them, but they didn't understand. Well, he's the doctor. The inside the cabinet was so infuriating. They needed to take it to Alpha, the fountain head of the misery. We did. You took the gel from the cabinet and made yourself into a venomous snake. We are. We You're are saying gel this toxin inside of me can kill the wow altogether? You are the snake, Simon. Now strike at the heart. Man. Yeah, thank you. If maybe the glitch dude is another Simon. The glitch dude is the what doctor. What the hell is that? It controls all the structure gel on Pathos 2. Oh, and they all poured, it, they poured the gel on everything. Imprint, and the heart will unwillingly spread it across Pathos 2, killing it. Feed it, Simon. Feed it, Simon. Push your arm into the heart. Can we, can we choose not to? This is really creepy. <laughs> it says HP. I don't Come think on. it's HP. Do it. I don't do it. Are you going to, like, take my hand and push me inside? Yeah. Oh, it's an eyeball. No. <laughs> oh, it's okay. oh, hurt. Well, I mean, it is gonna kill. Oh, I have no more. Well, I didn't really have a hand to begin with. Isn't hard if you're watching my vods. This is the end. Please. I did what you wanted. Dead good, Simon. But you can't leave. What? The only way to make sure the WoW stays dead is to destroy the only one who's immune to the new pattern. Don't worry. I'll make it quick. I left myself alive tonight. Oh, God! I, 
I should have, uh... Did I move? No? I should have, uh, left my copy alive, shouldn't I have? Oh, shit, balls! looking for me. A worm is looking for me. I have no idea where I'm going. I'm just running. Hey look, HP. Just gotta take some HP here. Full HP, which is good. We have a giant mad monster after us who really wants to kill us. Oh, he's coming back. I don't know if he's immune to the lights like all the other ones. We'll see. We'll see. Maybe I'm just prolonging my death. That thing, I'm pretty sure that thing will not stop until I'm dead. So, I am the last living thing now, too. I killed the last human. I am the last robot. Earth is barren. Nothing here anymore. This body of yours. Weird ass body. Unless it's just toying with me now. I guess just toying with me. Good thing I killed that. Maybe if I wasn't 100% HP, it would have killed me at that moment. Yeah. I'm in! Find an omni tool thing. Team it unlock your experience for your, your expressway to the stars. This has to be Phi, right? Hope the Ark made it here in one piece. God. Oh yay. It's saved. Do I get an HP anywhere nearby? Oh. No. Catherine. Chris, what the hell happened to your arm? It's complicated. I just need to know one thing. I'll have Press. both my arms in the arc, right? Yes, of course. Are you okay, though? Can you do stuff? Yeah. Let's just get this over with. Did you find the arc? Can you do I did, stuff? but I kind of lost it on my way here on an automated tram thing headed to Phi. So it should be around somewhere. That's great. Let's go get it. Oh, God. gone <laughs> into storage goodness 
which means... Did you find out what happened to the Ark team? Not really. For some reason, they didn't go through with the launch, so they took the Ark back to Tau. I hope everything's okay with the space gun. Yeah, I doubt I'll be able to repair one of those. Oh, nice. Nice. My arm. Good thing I can't feel pain, right? It's me. My leg's wiggling. This feels like the longest day of my life. Loading platform? Has it just been one day? I have no idea. In Our time together is a confusing patchwork of moments to me. What time is it then? What day? It's May 11th, 2104, 3.30 a.m., but I don't remember when we started. Well, been a few, oh. Uh, okay, that sound of someone kicking a, a wrench was not a good sign, but you know, we'll just get some. Uh. How was your sleep, Eisenberg? You know, I woke up in my bed today. What is Catherine? It just happens to have happened a hundred years ago. Sounds like a riddle. It does. I woke up in my bed today, a hundred years ago. <laughs> Who am I? Who Cat am I? Catherine is one of the... Uh, I can open the battery pack and whatever door I want. I'm guessing it's that one. Catherine is the lead scientist of the ARC program, um, but essentially she was an injured in robot that we sea. found a long time ago, nothing of this time and we put her into a, like. a tool that was shooting with us so that she could help us. She yeah. got attacked by the, the bad it. alien. Might change my mind about the ARC. You seriously not going to tell me what happened to your arm? I had to make a quick stop at Site Alpha to help kill the WoW. What? How? Why? Stop it from torturing the memory of humanity. Okay, let's just get back to work. Yeah, what am I doing with this? What will you do when you get into the Ark? What's the first thing? Make sure the Ark is safe, stabilize flight path, activate solar panels. Well, what's the first human thing you're gonna do? Oh. Watch the clouds roll by? Does that count? I'd say so. The loading dock? Loading pipe. She was a scientist. The Ark, she was the one who was, like, doing the whole thing. I think I found the assembly space. What do you see? It's like a huge open shell. A bullet, ready to be loaded. That's great. All prepared for the Ark. On it. Are you suggesting we keep it down here? Doesn't that defeat the whole purpose? Eternity among the stars, remember? The people inside the Ark won't know the difference. We can just keep it down here, and we don't have to risk the Ark being shot through 5,000 meters of broken barrel, and then push through another 100,000 meters of a dust-filled atmosphere. Will the casing stand all that pressure? Well, the odds aren't great. Catherine, say something. I don't care what you think. I'm launching it. No need to be like that. Let's just hang on to it for a while and think about it. We can launch it later. No, that wasn't the deal. <laughs> We made it to save them, to launch it. Out there, it's hope. Down here, it's a fucking terrarium waiting to die with the rest of us. Come yeah, on, Catherine, it's not asking much. Let's just think about it before we risk the only hope humanity has. What do you mean, it's not asking hell? much? It no, we launch it today. This is my project, my arc. It's bigger than that. Don't you get Wait, it? Is this it's Catherine? not for you to decide. We're talking about the fate of mankind. Get away from the Ark! I'm taking it! No, you're not. <gasps> and then they kill her. I'm not gonna let you ruin this! Stop it! Guys, calm down! Get away from me! No! Oh. What the fuck did you do? It was an accident. Catherine, talk to me. Catherine! This is Catherine. Oh, God. Catherine. Did you say something? It's nope. you. Nope. You had an accident. What are you... Oh. You mean Catherine. Don't worry, it's better this way. How did 
did she die? You got into a fight with your colleagues. They didn't want to risk launching the Ark. Thought it might not make it through the atmosphere. They killed me? I'm sure it was an accident. They were just trying to stop you from launching. How could they kill me? Catherine. I know I'm not an easy person to like. I just thought they trusted me. Come on, don't do this to yourself. Halo detected. Halo bay closing. Well, I'm so glad that I woke up in a spacesuit and found Catherine and she got injured by the WoW and then I ended up putting her in an Omicron tool and taking her with me so that I can finish off her work. All systems say go. Lock and load. Total accident. Yeah. I like how he says an accident and then he's like, they killed you. friends in Toronto, Simon? Real friends? There was some. Jesse, Sean, Kevin. I always wanted a friend. Like a real one, someone you'd never hold back with. Oh God. I'll be your friend. Oh, pity friendship? Now I feel even worse. This is where we're gonna hear about all the bad things. This is it. Do you think the Ark will make it through the atmosphere and into space? It almost doesn't matter anymore. We just need to try. If we burn, we burn. If we're lucky, we just gave humanity a new chance, a whole new era. With the Ark on Earth, maybe we have a few decades of power to keep it running. In space, we have thousands of years. Still, one hell of a gamble, though. This was never about certainty. It's about hope. Is that it? Does the big space the creepy man like uh, show up in front of us and go, No, oh, how could you? Like, I have a feeling that this is the end of the game. Because it's like, this is the end. It's just me and Catherine and a little tool. I can choose maybe to kill myself, but I'm alive on the Ark, and that's what matters. Their hope is that, um, yeah, humanity survives by living on the Ark in a simulated... Now what? Now we just need to get the shell into the gun and then kaboom. Aren't you forgetting something? How are you going to get us on board the Ark? Don't we need to make another scan? Oh, don't you worry. You don't operate something like the Omega space gun with your bare hands. You mean, it's a pilot seat? Like back at Omicron? Uh, yes, and we can use it to transfer you to the Ark. Humanity, while and then the maybe, you know, the, 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 the now, take the thoughts the in the Ark would be able to, the to and do something. To the final steps. Or meet someone, or... I totally missed what I'm supposed to do. We're supposed to go where? I was talking. I didn't pay attention. We have to go into the launch dome. We have to get into the pilot seat and throw the thing. But yeah, the Ark is literally just full of a whole bunch of scans of people's... of people. Like of me and of Catherine and a whole bunch of scientists and humanity, essentially. And we're, we're living in the Matrix. I have a feeling that the warden is gonna stop me or the wow or whatever because I'm gonna poison it. You just don't understand how they expect to ever get out of the Ark again. Well, they're just thoughts. It's just data. Like, it's not actually people, it's just... It's humanity, they keep saying. You won't have to. Not after this is over. Right. Have a seat. Blinking in and out of existence. You're just confused. Comfortable? <laughs> as good as it's gonna get. Okay, I'll activate the seat. 
You should be able to That's essentially what I am. I was, I was in 2015, I got my brain scanned because of an accident, and I've woken up in 2100 and something. No, no, I never tried this one. But pilot seats are notoriously easy to use, so it shouldn't be a problem. And this is just my brain scan from so long ago. Oh god, oh dear. Oh, for heaven's sake. Way to turn it? Okay. Do I turn it? Automatically does a four, yeah. There we go. Okay, ready when you are. Just hit the button and we're off. But we need to transfer our minds to the Ark. We also need to make sure it launches at all, so I tied them to a single switch. Just push the button and we're off. Do ship balls, I do not trust her. Jeez, do you? <gasps> Human info kept by robots in the hoop. What are you waiting human for? Human can be a real human again. Just bracing exactly. myself. Well, push the button when you're done. I don't trust her, man. Here we go. No turning back. Thank you, Simon. Don't mention it. It's an amazing thing you did. And I want you to know I appreciate it. I keep waiting for the evil, sinister monologue. <laughs> I'm not getting uh, uploaded. 20 seconds. What's the matter with the upload? Just give it a second. I thought you guys would have better bandwidth in the future. I'm not getting uploaded. I'm stuck on Earth all by myself. Oh, okay, there we go. 10 seconds. There has to be a twitch. 9, 8, 7. I like how she puts me second. 6. You gotta be kidding me! 5, 4. She just gave me so much more. Oh, 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 yes! yes! Oh, yeah, we made it! <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Yeah, but he. Yeah, but he realizes that. Still here. Still here. Catherine. Yeah. Catherine. Because I'm here. What the hell happened? What went wrong? Nothing. Nothing. They're out there, among the stars. We're here. It's like the whole thing no. he never grasped this we entire the thing. Arc. I saw it. It finished loading just before it launched. Yeah. Yeah, the I saw it. A copy of Catherine and a copy here? of us are there. Simon, I can't keep telling you how it works. You won't listen. You know Not very why bright, we're no. here. You were copied onto the Ark. You just didn't carry over. You lost the coin toss. We both did. Just like Simon and Omicron. Just like the man who died in Toronto a hundred years ago. No, this is bullshit. We came all this way! We launched the Ark! I know it sucks, but our copies are up there! Catherine and Simon are both safe on the Ark. Be happy for them. Are you crazy? We're gonna die down here with those fuckers living at large on a spaceship! <laughs> They're not us! They're not us! I'm sorry you feel that way, Simon. I'm proud of what we did. We made sure that something of the hundreds of thousands of years of human history survived, that something lives on. Fuck this! Fuck! Fuck this! Fuck you! Fuck you, Catherine! You lied! And I believed in you! I trusted you! You said we're getting on the fucking Ark! We are on the Ark, you idiot! <laughs> I didn't lie! I can't be responsible for your goddamn ignorance! You fuck! Ark! 
And now he's alone. Catherine? Please don't leave me alone. Catherine? So... Catherine? So, we killed the other robot, we killed the other robot, we killed the robot of ourselves, we killed the last living human on Earth, and then now we're the last one. We left ourselves completely alone by killing everything and putting them out of their misery on the way. Not that I think I would have changed my 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 choices because that's not a life. Last man standing. Cause I mean that's I mean that's not a life, right? That poor woman who is stuck in that terrible place on on life support. I mean what did what did he she want to do with me? Just hang out with me until she died? That would have been boring. He won't be king of the hill. Oh, he won king of the hill. Yeah, yeah, we won. We won. I was actually just having this conversation with Kryn. I was saying how the copy is not me. Like, it's not me. I won't be up there. Yes, my thoughts and everything will be up there, but not me. Like, like this one. I want to be the one up in space. I want to blink and be up there with them. You should do a cringe dance now. That's what the Fortnite kids do after winning a battle royale. It's true. I I am. So is the guy you played as a robot too in the data of a real guy from a long time ago? Yes. Yeah. So in 2015, I got into a car accident. Well, Simon got into a car accident, and he was dying. And they were trying to help stop his brain damage um, from progressing, which what it was going to do, by doing brain scans and helping it heal itself by like repathing. Turns out he died a month after that, but his brain scans were used in the future uh, in this program to to be the basis for, for AI technology because it was one of the first untouched um, brain scans. And so I woke up in the year 2100 and some not knowing what I was or who I was. Well, I knew who I was, but like not knowing where I am or like the year or anything like that. And it slowly came we slowly found out that it was the year 2100 and some and that we were a brain scan put into a body, put into a, a robot, essentially. Surrounded by other people who who were put into robots in an effort to uh, continue on the human race after Earth got hit with an asteroid. And that's why we were in one body. You didn't wake up for this, but we were in one body. But to get down to where we were here, we needed a stronger spacesuit to uh, withstand the pressure of uh, deep ocean. Oh. So we moved our consciousness into a new suit. Whoa. Is this... Did it work? And then I killed my former self because it wasn't me. And everyone on the Ark is just brain scans living in a simulated matrix. <gasps> Maybe when I die, die, I join my consciousness on the Ark. That would, that would be silly. Being able to move your data into a new robot to suit your needs, that's pretty nifty. It is. Except the thing that I was maintaining was the fact that the Catherine kept saying that she was the first person scanned into the Ark, so she didn't have all of the extra knowledge that she had been learning and uh, progressing with and stuff too. So I was, I was thinking that she was an evil villain, that something had happened that she didn't know about, but her her human self that lived on did know Catherine? about. Catherine, I can't believe we actually made it. Well, You'll we be a did. Roomba. I'm so relieved. It's this is okay, my copied son. thought. Everything's all right now. This is my copied thought up in space. Yep. Not knowing that I actually wasn't like that. The me still lived down there by myself. See, that's the thing. 
Simon thinks it's all fun and dandy, and he, he, he blinked, and now he's on the spaceship, not knowing that there's a dude on Earth still himself from two seconds ago. Because he was an idiot, and he didn't realize. Because he, he keeps not realizing that that's what's going to happen. <laughs> it's like when we copied ourselves into our new body, and uh, I, I killed it because that's terrible. Because that new bo that old body would have woken up like five, two minutes later, she said, in a couple minutes, not knowing that it had actually worked. He would have woken up not knowing what's happened, Catherine gone, uh, stuck on that place by himself with the monsters. That's why I killed him. So yeah, this game kind of has a happy and a sad ending. Has a sad ending for the Simon still on Earth, and a happy ending for the Simon that got to go to the stars. From the outside looking its way, looking in, it's easy to understand, but experiencing it would be pretty difficult. Oh yeah, absolutely. But he also, he just didn't think. He didn't, he didn't absorb the fact that he wasn't going to, he wasn't going to be on the Ark, a copy of himself would be. And the copy would be happy. I love that Catherine died, though. Catherine died on Earth, and he was alone. He was just alone. In a body, by himself. Not able to do anything, because he wasn't from that time, either. He was from 2015. He doesn't know how anything works. <laughs> just, you know, like... <laughs> what just, like, just, like, the story, like, the idea behind it. Like, he became the last person. <laughs> <laughs> that makes me sound terrible, Kara. You loved that. No, I just, I loved the whole idea behind it. I, I... <laughs> it wasn't a happy ending. Like, nothing about it was a happy ending. <laughs> but as a robot, he would just keep existing on Earth forever. Yeah, exactly, until, like, the machines killed him, or he died, or ran out of... My voice, my words. <laughs> you understood what I meant, though. Yeah, but as a robot on Earth, he would just exist until he hurt himself so much or ran out of power or, you know, so something stabbed him through whatever. He was in, he's a robot inside of a deep space suit for living at the bottom of the ocean. So now he can't leave anywhere because he doesn't have Catherine to help him. He doesn't have Catherine. The Omni tool broke, so he can't like transfer himself into a new body. He can't copy himself over and over again because, I mean, we were surprised we could even find that body, essentially. So he's stuck on the bottom of the ocean. At least you can go for a nice swim to pass the time. With the um with the really creepy angler fishes that have been mutated and the giant sharks and <laughs> all of the bad stuff in the ocean. He can just offer himself up as food, right? And that giant warden that's, you know, someone around trying to kill him. I mean, sure, he would need new friends. <laughs> <laughs> the swarm of angler fish as they spin by and be like, oh, hey, want to be friends? <laughs> Why not the creepy fish? Exactly. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> that, was a, that was an interesting game. Classified as a psychological survival horror that's dark. It was by the creators of Amnesia. So it's by Frictional Gaming. It is an interesting story. That's <laughs> literally the second... Uh, Review, play for the story and not the game mechanics. Incredible story. It is a good story. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. 
I have unlocked all achievements. 10 out of 10. Excellent. The first Amnesia is still the best horror game you've played. Uh, the first Amnesia was good. It was good. It wasn't terrible, but it was good. Um, but if we want to talk, it, it depends on what we're talking about. Are we talking like, wake up, don't know what you're doing, have to piece together with some elements of scariness? You know, that giant dude with the hand coming at you? It was good. I think the 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 game that has terrified me the most to the point where I was sitting here like a body in a tense, like I was tense the entire time I was playing it was that last one. I don't know what it was. The DLC came very close to the second and then Layers of Fear is my third for being like terrifyingly scary um, horror. That last was fun. <laughs> Says, says the man who likes just to bug me about how much I sat in lockers. <laughs> Seriously, I needed to collect myself so much. So much. And then, of course, the so I played my first stream, you know, of Outlast for three hours, right? And then the next day, uh, Kara is watching some guy speed run it. And he did what I did in three hours in like eight minutes or whatever it was. <laughs> <laughs> on a speed run oh my god <sighs> so terrifying you own outlast but haven't played it you've seen so many people play it that there's no horror left in it for you yeah i can see that if you know what's happening and like you know <laughs> <laughs> outlast the game where you come up on a dude <laughs> yeah yep <laughs> it's too bad that Outlast has been ruined for you if you wanted to play it yourself and get scared because I, I thoroughly enjoyed it it was it was the most terrifying game the DLC was was good it was a close second for the amount of terror Um, and it was like a good what was it I think the DLC was three hours I think it was one session I did it in the second one isn't even worth downloading if you have it, not worth it. Not worth it at all. Um, so Friday. Friday we have. We have a couple choices. I'm not playing Remothered Tormented Fathers. That was just weird. Um, we have Cry of Fear, which I got for free. But apparently it's terrifying. I have. The Third Amnesia. I have Call of Cthulhu. Call of Cthulhu is quite the story um, game. I have Resident Evil Relation Revelations. Resident Evil 7 Biohazard. I have Dead Island. You wouldn't recommend the Third Amnesia? On a scale of 1, 2, and 3, where does Third Amnesia... Like on like Amnesia One and Amnesia Two, since you watched my VOD of Amnesia Two, the Machine for Pigs, where does where's the third rate? Does it rate like better than the second one, but not as good as the first one, or is Dead Island not as me? One was good, two and three were hot garbage. Oof, yikes! Because two was garbage. Like it was just, it was not my thing. And yes, Dead Island is a zombie shooter. Oh, it's not scary? Oh, it's just a zombie gore multiplayer open world. Yeah. Well, if anyone wants to play it with me, we can do a, you know, Friday night play together. <laughs> okay, so Amnesia Rebirth isn't, even, isn't worth even trying it. Because, like, Machine for Pigs was just snore fast. You don't know any of those games? You don't know any of the Resident Evil games?
Or are we talking, uh, you'd always have to try to see it for yourself. Yeah, you know, my opinion on the second one. The second one was not good. So Resident Evil Biohazard. Fear and isolation seep through the walls of an abandoned southern farmhouse. Seven marks a new beginning for survival horror, and the isolated view of the visceral new first-person perspective. It's a first-person horror survival. I have never played any of the Resident Evil games before. Okay, so you can just go into it. Signature gameplay elements of exploration and tense atmosphere that first coined survival horror some 20 years ago. Complete refresh of gameplay systems simultaneously propels the survival horror experience to the next level. I think it's another one of those might be like true story. He just remember being excited that a third amnesia existed and then was like, what the fuck? <laughs> That's always fun. Okay, so Resident Evil Biohazard, you can just jump into it straight away. You don't need any knowledge of previous Resident Evils. I feel like it's like a more of a story one. But yeah. Okay. Well, we always have Cry of Fear as well, too, which is apparently terrifying. And, you know, if I want to purchase it, there's Choo Choo Charles. Which is all the rave right now. Have you guys seen any Choo Choo Charles? You just saw the picture in the Steam store. <laughs> Navigate an open world island in an old train, upgraded over time, and use it to fight an evil spider train named Charles. It's an, it's a survival horror first person. You like set up guns and turrets in this train track and stuff, and you try and fight this train that's a speed that's a that's a spider. It's so ridiculous. Like I don't I don't. I don't know how scary it'll be when I'll honestly probably be laughing how ridiculous it is when you play it. You fight a gigantic giga spider train from hell. Need I say more? Oh, man. Mm -hmm. Minus 14 outside. Woof. Train goes choo choo, guns go pew pew. Can't ask for much more. Thomas the Tank Andrew got angry. Exactly. All you see is Kitty. Well, Kitty is now leaving because she wants to go outside and investigate that the dogs are going outside. It does look silly. Like, honestly, I think I just end up laughing the entire time. But yeah, I might actually have to start purchasing a couple more. Running out of horror games. How is that even possible? Running out of good ones. I mean, I've heard good things about grand Grounded, but A, it's 50 bucks, and B, I don't think it's scary. I think it's just thrilling. And if we're not into, like, zombie pew-pew shooters, like uh, Resident Evil and DayZ and uh, uh, Dying Light and stuff and The Hunt, that always gets those out. And I just honestly can't trust the horror tag on Steam because it, it, Skyrim is classified as a horror. Stray is classified as a horror. Like, are you, are you kidding me right now? Like, you have just made horror tag be ridiculous. Among Us is classified as horror. 
You played Daisy like 10 years ago. You wonder what it's like now? Um, do I have Daisy? I have experimental server and server. I don't think I have the actual game. But yeah, every time they put some ridiculous game under the, the classification of horror, it just it, it waters down the, the tag for me. Like, getting over it is classified as horror. Really? Really? Lust from beyond. Oh boy. I'd love to play Little Nightmares too, but it's $40. That's not happening. You mean Skyrim is horror? You never know when the next bug will strike. <laughs> That's very true. <laughs> Sensual haunting. Sexual content, nudity, and interactive fiction. I wonder what kind of interaction, interactive fiction your sensu sensual haunting will be. The interaction will be which bad. Twitch ban exactly. <laughs> Ghost Watchers. I've seen I've seen people play that, but it's a co-op. Dusk is an FPS retro shooter. Ooh, Slender the Arrival. First person survival horror. I like how there's very there's positive, very positive, and overwhelmingly positive. <laughs> There's several types of horror, so it's hard to get it right. Exactly, right? And they have they have the tag survival horror and psychological horror and um I don't know what other ones they have. And then they just have horror. But uh I wish there's so many games that aren't horror, they're just thrilling. But they just slap the horror tag on it. Like, I wouldn't call, I wouldn't classify Alien Isolation as horror. I would classify it as thrilling. The Slender Games are a mandatory experience if you haven't played it. Oh, really? I just saw it. I, like, I'm just, I clicked on the horror tag and I'm slowly scrolling through the games. And I just saw it. And it's not that expensive. And kind of think it would be terrifying, right? Fear therapy. Oh, gosh. Oh, Dread Out 2 is out. I'm not playing that one again. First one was horrible. Don't tell Toes I said that, though. The elevator game with cat girls. The visual novel with psychological horror and it's atmospheric. Agnostic. Hidden deep. See, there is a thriller tag. Horror doesn't necessarily mean anything to you anymore. Yeah, oh yeah, super desensitized. Yeah. And they, they say everything is horror. Like I said, Alien Isolation I would have classified as thriller. Or thrilling. Not horror. It's not horror. It's just like every time you get a game where if you die, you go back to the beginning. They're like, oh, it's a it's a Dark Souls like just because you die and you have to restart it doesn't mean it's Dark Souls like. That's what happens in every game. Did you close the door behind you, hon? It is cold. I did, yeah. Jeez. Upstairs. Thank you. He felt more horror playing Ark and being chased by a T-Rex than most horror games these days. Dude, the first time I actually loaded up into Ark, I loaded up on a beach somewhere, and those little monsters coming at you and you can't go anywhere, like like that eight the little girl in the third Jurassic Park movie, that was terrifying. And then the first time I went into the bushes, just a little bit, 
just a little bit. I didn't even go far. I took like one step into a bush face to face with uh, raptors. Oh my God. I was terrified to move. I was terrified to breathe. I was terrified to like chop down a tree. I'm like, oh my God, everything is going to kill me and I need to get away from everything, but I can't get away from everything. Early raptors are savage. It was like, oh God, it was, it was terrifying. It was terrifying. The first, first couple hours of ARC, I was all by myself. I had never played it before. I was playing on a server with friends, but no one was online. I had no idea what to do. You know it isn't for everyone, but you adore Ark, and you've been looking for people to play with for years. Yeah, I'm not. I, I, it just didn't ring with me. I don't know why. Just did not ring. How was there an agnostic tag? <laughs> oh dear. Hand simulator. I have that one. See, and I have the Coma Sisters, which is apparently a horror adventure indie single player action game. I feel like I need to like download it and and activate it because I have no idea what it's going to be like. I don't think it's horror. I think it's just going to be funny. It's like a side scrolling story driven immerse yourself in warped shiwa district as you encounter an engaging cast of characters solve puzzles discover revealing clues and fight for survival against a relentless psycho but it's like a cute little side scroller hand drawn little gamey thing the forest is actually really well made you thought arc was fun 67 minutes in arc throwing around dodos your army of dodos. You bring it once. You you breed them. I had a friend who did that. Bred a million dodos and then brought them to a fight. They all died, but he did kill the thing. 439.8 hours in arc. I'm sure you could find some sort of online server to join, just like the, how there's Minecraft SMPs. I bet you anything that you could find an arc server. With people to play with. I'm saying. I'm sure there's some sort of Reddit group as well, too, that try to, you know, find the same type of people who play it. Who want to play it as much and do the same things. The forest is actually really well made. I've heard good things about the forest. It's, uh... There's a second one coming out, too. Sons of the Forest. But it's an open-world survival craft, so it would be good would for, like, the first night kind of thing, but after that it would be a little bit more... Like, there's no end, isn't it? Kind of like Minecraft, but harder and realistic grapple, graphics. For the... There's no story, there's no nothing, it's just... Kind of like Valheim. You play it as long as you want to play it, right? You're really bad at meeting new people and finding people who would play a similar way to you. It would be bleh. The forest has an ending? Oh. I thought it was just... I thought it was like Valheim. Explore and build during the day. Defend your base at night. has a huge crafting survival emphasis, but it does end. Okay. So you could just, like, play it for the story kind of thing. If you don't hunker down and make a giant base and stay there forever. No bill should burn down the forest. Well, there are zombies in the forest. Zombies don't like fire. It requires a lot of exploring to find the stuff you need. Ah, okay. Interesting. And it's not online co-op and land co-op. You guys could play with me if you have it. You know, carry me through.
<laughs> Alright. It's one of the few games that gave you a few good scares in a long time. Well, that's terrifying. Sleep paralysis. Oh, God. The uncanny valley. Story rich first person psychological horror game. You're in a lonely house suffering from sleep. Suffering from sleep paralysis. Oh, God. Make meaningful decisions that prevent you from going insane. Psychological horror, atmospheric, and puzzle. Uh, it's creepy. Picture of that is just creepy. Yeah. All right. Well, it is 1 a.m. And I am sleepy. Just doing your thing, and then you look around, you see yourself being watched. <laughs> Be terrifying, dude. Terrifying. <laughs> Are you being watched, though, or is it, like, the zombie just, like, in the forest and hasn't noticed you yet? Because they're, cause they're can cannibals, right? Oh, they know you're there? Oh, God. It would probably, it would probably be scary. It would probably scare me. Yeah. I don't know if I'd have the patience to be able to play it all the way through by myself. Because it feels like it feels like it would be a really long game. You'd be down to play? Hmm. Hmm. Might take you up on that offer. If you've never played it, it could be really long since you wouldn't know where to look. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. That would be something that would be difficult to stream for me because I would be streaming it for probably like a whole month kind of thing. Trying to find everything and do everything and be able to progress and get all my stuff and stuff like that is also very scary by yourself. Entirely possible to stream it for five hours and accomplish nothing. Yeah, that's what I figured. That's what I figured. All right. Well, Kara, did you get enough? Did you get enough uh, dog butts in? Shoal right now. Right. Oh. And Kara. Hudra, the Kara. <clears throat> Play their lazy game of tug of war again. You like other dog butts too? You want crin butt? Thank you, I will. I'm probably going to go to bed like very shortly here. I'm actually tired. Um, do you guys have anyone to raid? I don't have anyone online to raid. I have Yoko Sion to raid who's playing Pokemon and that's it. I mean, other, to type other dog parts, but your brain divided to pies. <laughs> I think it's time for Kari to go to sleep as well. <laughs> oh man, that's funny. <laughs> well, you get sh the back of Shoal's head. For the most part. And, and Holdra trying to take... She invited him to play and now she's making that noise. She makes the stupidest noises. She also sounds sick, Harry. Holdra sounds... special. <laughs> yes! Oh my gosh. Right. Good night, everyone. Have a lovely evening.